Hello everyone and welcome back to PA Academy. So this is the part 3 of the video series how to draw a 9 pointed star. So we've looked at uh, method 1 and method 2 in uh, the last two parts of this video. So if you missed that, uh, kindly check the description of this video and then you'll find the link to those videos. But do make sure you watch this one first. And if you are new to this channel PA Academy and you are yet to subscribe, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. It's absolutely free. Uh, it's absolutely free on your side. It won't cost you anything. Just click on it. It helps our channel to grow. So you see it at the lower right of your screen, so you can go ahead and click it now. And let me know in the comment section below if you have just subscribed. Alright, thank you. So in drawing a 9 pointed star, uh, what you are going to need is a known argon. So if you look closely uh, on what I'm having here, you see that I'm having a known argon already on the screen. You look at it very well. You see it, I already have my known argon. I've drawn it already just to save time. So what you need actually, what you actually need from this known argon are the vertices. So that's why I'm, I have my uh, known argon drawn with a faint line. Uh, you can barely see it. So let's identify the vertices, so let's label it, so this will be, let's call this A, and then this will be B, C, D, E, then this will be F, G, H, and then that of I. And by the way, if you don't know how to draw a nonagon, kindly check the description of this video. I'll leave a link showing you how to draw a regular nonagon. That's a polygon with nine sides. I've done a video showing how to go about it. So now, now that we've identified the vertices, now let's go ahead and draw our nine-pointed star. Now for this method three, unlike method one and method two, this time around, starting from point A, you are going to be drawing a line from point A, skipping three Ne the three next three vertices and join a line straight to the fourth one. This is what I mean. So from point A, we are going to be skipping uh, vertex B, vertex C, and vertex D. So we are going to draw a line from vertex A straight to vertex E. So it's going to be looking like this. So from A straight to vertex E with a bold line. So that's the, an, uh, with a, an outline. So the same thing. So from E, we are going to be skipping three other vertices. So we're going to be skipping F, G, and H and draw a line straight to I. So from E. So from vertex E straight to vertex I. Okay. So from I, we are going to skip A, B, and C straight to D. And then from D, from D we are going to skip E, F, and G. So that will take us to H. And also important, uh, important to note the direction that we are taking it from. So now from H, now we, are, we stop at H, then we are going to skip I, A, B. So from H we are drawing it to C. So we are going to continue like that in that order. So you skip the next three and then you draw a line to the fourth one. So now from C, definitely where are we going next? So we are going to be skipping this, this and this. We are going straight to G. So I want you to look at it. So now we stop at G. Where do you think the next line we are going to be drawing to? Uh, which of the vertex are we drawing to? Okay, so if you have your answer, you can notice down. So let's see if you are correct. So from G, the next one we are drawing it to is is to B. I hope you got that right. Alright, so now that we've thought that we are, we are at B, where, where is the next uh, vertex we are drawing is from B? Have you noted your answer? Alright, so let's do this. From B, we are going to F. So I hope you are uh, following along. If you are finding value, just give it a thumbs up. And if you are getting it, so let me also give the video a thumbs up. Now we have one more to go, and that is it from F to here. So just note your answer from F to here. If we skip three and then the fourth one, and that will be to here to A. So with this now, we already have our nine-pointed star. This, this is the method three. So now let's compare what we have here with the other two methods that we look at in the last two parts of this video. So in the method two, we have something like this, and then in method one, we have they are all nine-pointed star. You know, just different approach, and to give you. So let me know what you, what do you notice in this in uh, in all these three. This is method one. This is method two, and what we are having here is method three. So what's what's the difference? You know, what's the difference between the three? What did you notice? So let me know what you think about these three method. 
in the comment section below. And which method do you think looks more like a nine pointer star? Is it the method one? Is it the method two or the method three? I want to see your comments in the comment section below. So if you find value in all this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are yet to subscribe to our channel, PA Academy, please take your time to subscribe. Please, please subscribe. And also endeavor to share this video. Share this video. And also check our playlist on technical and engineering drawing. There are a lot of videos there that I believe will be of help to you. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.